What going on? <laughs> pad level, pad level. <laughs> Danny Rambo, cornerback for the University of South Dakota. Y'all better do a little stretch of fur before y'all get out of here. I was born in Tallahassee, Florida, and raised in Donaldsonville, Georgia, it's south of Atlanta. It's in a little corner, deep south, on the borderline of Alabama and Florida. Here is Rambo. I tell you, back at home, it's all cowboy. My mom and dad named me that as a um, baby. They say they get it from a movie. It was a rich cowboy, and they just loved the way his personality was and how he was doing things. So they just said, we're just gonna name you cowboy. I, I never really played receiver, like true receiver. I was more like a like, scat bat. So once I got here and played receiver, it was kind of tough for me to like run the routes, knowing what coverage they are they in or coming like out of my brakes because of my hips. That was a pretty good job. I didn't really like receiver um, that much as much as I like corner now. Corner, I mean, I always had the instinct of like playing man coverage because when I was in Georgia, like the defense we ran, the safeties had to play man coverage the whole game. So I was like, I was more of a corner and that's what triggered my mind to like move from receiver to corner because I thought I'd be a better corner and help the team out at corner better. Looking to the left this time and it is intercepted at the 13 yard line by Danny Rambo. That was my first man coverage interception. I'm still trying to figure out how I jumped up and caught it because it was so high in the air. Well, I, I ain't trying to eat. Hey, come on. <laughs> Boy, gonna... My mind is like, I'd rather hit than be hit. So I just take pride in just going and just trying to at least knock the air out of them. Oof. I haven't seen my brother since last summer. So maybe once a year. I always told him he was my role model because of the things that he been through and how he bounced back from the things that he been through. He was just the dude that just, I wouldn't say a father figure, but in a way he was because all the things that he done for me and all the words that he gave me. We all gotta come out here and do our thing. Every day. We mainly talk about like what's going on. Like, are you doing good in school? Um, how's the family back home? Like if he haven't talked to the fam back home. I'll send him a clip or two, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'll send him a clip or two. <laughs> and he'll examine the clip for me and he'll tell me what I need to do. Like he'll tell me if my pad level too high, he'll let me know. Yes, sir. All right. If he says my footwork off balance, then he'll let me know. So like, I like to do that too. Send him a couple of clips to let him know, like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Uh, can you help me out and show me some stuff that, that I don't see, that you may see. <laughs> There you go, be aggressive. He took a tie there, you see him? Last year we had to like learn the whole new playbook and it was tough because we didn't really know what the coaches wanted at the time, but now we know like what the coaches wanted. We was there, but I just think we just need to finish it and that's our main focus. Look, gonna fall. I told you, <laughs> I told you it gonna fall. <laughs>